Well, this summer there was a miraculous rescue on the Crescent City Connection. Two first responders who work on opposite sides of the river were crossing the bridge when they spotted a driver in trouble. They quickly jumped into action, pulling the man from his car before it burst into flames. Eleanor Tabone has the exclusive story. It was August 26th, around 4.30 in the afternoon. Traffic was moving on the Crescent City Connection. Jefferson Parish Sheriff Deputy Anton Hughley was on the way to a detail. As I was traveling, I saw a white Crown Vic on three wheels and a rotor. Sparks was flying everywhere. Hey, look, we about to front this exit. Y'all get a uh, fire out here, cars like catch fire. He knew the driver was a danger to himself and others. I said, bro, it's not safe. So as I started putting the level four barricades up behind our vehicles, I noticed his rotor start smoking. So I said, bro, you got to get out the car. He refused. I said, no, seriously, you have to get out. In law enforcement, since 2016, he knew something was very wrong. You know, the car could have lost control, anything. By the sparks being there next to the motor, fuel, the gas line, the oil, could have, you know, blew up anything. It's then his worst thoughts started to materialise. That's when the rotor caught fire. Hughley knew he only had minutes to get a handicapped man and his dog out of an impending fireball. I pulled him out the car to the back of my unit. When I was coming down, they had a JP officer that was at the bottom with his lights on, and he was holding this guy, just wondering what was going on. So when I got closer to the bottom, I pulled over and I jumped out because I seen some smoke coming from the car. But also, travelling on the Crescent City Connection that day was off-duty New Orleans firefighter Chase Bruno. I said, hey, man, what's going on? You need some help? He said, yeah, please. Well, the guy didn't have no legs, so I grabbed under the, you know, by the thighs of his legs, and we pulled him back as far as we could. not The smoke Deputy Hughley noticed before was now flames. And as soon as we did that, the uh, car burst in flames, and I called the fire station um, on this side of the river and said, hey, can y'all come? I got a fully involved car. I called the fire station on the West Bank, got them to come, and then I called somebody from EMS and got them to send us an uh, EMS unit. How quickly was it from when you arrived at the scene, Chase, or drove past to that car going bursting to flames? I can say it was a probably maybe 30, 40 seconds, and we had a fully involved working fire. What was that like to have someone pull someone out of a car and then, like, seconds later, it's on flames? Looking back that you asked that, it could have saved other lives. So, like, if he would have went home when the metal settled, it could have, you know, caught the house on fire, apartment park complex on fire. I feel good afterwards, you know, because I'm like, you know, at least he's safe. His dog is safe. So you never know what's going to happen when you're dealing with, you know, vehicle fires. It's a very tricky situation. It was a simple coincidence those two emergency workers were travelling on the Crescent City Connection that summer day. A coincidence that turned into a miraculous rescue. A rescue undertaken by two men who risk their lives daily to save others. Would you call yourself a hero? No. no. Uh, I just was doing my job. Would you call yourself a hero? Uh, I wouldn't really call myself a hero. I mean, it's, it's all part of the job. I love what I do. And when you think of the friendship, a bond between a firefighter and a sheriff's deputy isn't really an odd one. And you and Chase are friends now? We've been friends for five years. Two friends who just happened to be traveling on the Crescent City Connection saved a man and his dog on August 26th around 4.30 in the afternoon. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana.